being aborted every day, even on Sunday. So we need to stand and stand strong and stand loud. So now I present to you... Says, open your mouth for the mute. Many, many threats to our nation but the one that concerns me the most has a number and the number is 58 million 58 million is the number of children since Roe versus Wade was passed 43 years ago of the number of children that have died in the womb ten times what the Nazis did in terms of murdering just the Jewish race. And we know the judge president of our nation stood up and listed a many, many concerns that our nation had in, in injustice, in terror, for mercy upon us, confessing and repenting our sin. And that's part of what we're doing right now speaking out those are uncomfortable with abortion we have an opportunity right now to set the wrong set right for me what you knew and he will judge people according to what they have done and we should do something we should step up and part of the inter intervention i've spoken to women and the others Offer acceptance and forgiveness to anyone who would dare to receive that have already been saved by people like you, by organizations like 40 Days for Life, individuals that have stepped up, looked out, reached out, and as a result, babies are alive today, grown men, just fall. So let us together speak out. fellow citizens in your church, on your city block, on Capitol Hill, put some feet to what you believe, speak. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Our next guest, he fights in the secular world, in the legal system, he fights for justice, he fights for truth. His name is Bill Montgomery, he's the Maricopa County Attorney. He's a wonderful father, a wonderful husband. He fights for justice, and unlike our president, he follows through with what the law says. He follows it to the letter of the law. And I want you to welcome him today and thank him for all he does, for the unborn, for coming out here. The truth matters. And this morning, we reclaim the truth. The truth is that since Roe v. Wade, over 54 million, Americans have been killed without due process, without having committed any crime. That's more than all the service members that have been killed in all of America's wars combined. That's more than 18,000 9-11s. That's over nine holocausts. We claim the truth that this ongoing genocide must end. We're here to reclaim the truth that in our founding documents, in our Declaration of Independence, it clearly states that all men are created and are endowed by our Creator with certain inalienable rights, among which are the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. All men are created equal, not born equal. Our founding fathers were smart people, and if they wanted to enunciate the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, attaching at the point when men were born, they just as easily could have said, all men are born equal. That's not what it reads. We claim the truth that all of us are created equal at the moment of conception and have the right to life. And under our Constitution, 
you may not be deprived of life or liberty without due process. So we reclaim the truth that what goes on in Planned Parenthood is unconstitutional. It is violative of the first right mentioned in any of our founding documents. And defunding Planned Parenthood is funding life, is funding the Constitution, is funding who we are as Americans when it goes to true health care. We underscore the truth that the half a billion dollars that goes to Planned Parenthood, 10% of that is going to fund their CEO's salary. That's disgusting. It is profane. And we state that truth. We state the truth that was finally admitted during those congressional hearings. Planned Parenthood does not perform one mammogram and never has. There are no mammogram instruments or machines in any of their facilities. They do not provide that kind of service for women. And we now know it. And we also now know from the videos that have been released what Planned Parenthood is really about. It is about turning a profit and it's about trafficking in the body parts of the most innocent and defenseless among us without telling their mothers what was going on. We're also here to reclaim the truth that men need to be men. And if men would stand up and defend the women they love and not put them in a situation where they're in a crisis situation in the first place, there would never be a need for Planned Parenthood anyway. So it is time for men to lend their voice to this. For us to stand up shoulder to shoulder. For us to be the guardians and the warriors and the protectors we are called and what we are supposed to be. Amen. It is time for us to respect women, not as the weaker sex, but as our partners in being good stewards of creation, and that includes being good stewards of freedom. And you do not leave a woman alone once you've taken advantage of her for your own selfish pursuits. That's when it's most critical for you to stand up and be a man and be responsible. The secular world today has created a very different expectation for what it is to be a man or for what it is to be a woman. And abortion furthers that because you don't have to be responsible. You can't simply be an object for personal pleasure. Your measure of value of worth is based upon how well you can satisfy or serve another in that context. That is not the truth. We claim the truth that every human person has inherent dignity and value for no other reason than that you are a human person created in the image and likeness of God. And so we say this speaking in truth, that until every human person is respected and the inherent dignity and value of their life is recognized, we're not going away. We will proclaim the truth, we will demand that Planned Parenthood be defunded, and we will continue to add our voices. So one day when we stand before the judgment seat of God, we will hear 54 million voices saying, no gun, thou good and faithful servant, instead of one voice saying, what you did to them is for them, you did to me. Thank you, God bless. They're lying. Don't believe, they're liars. Yo te invito hoy, yo te invito de todo corazón a que abras tu corazón a la necesidad de los demás y que no te quedes callado. The sidewalk counselor came up to her and said, please don't do that. Go and get her, bring her to the whole mobile unit. She went, she got her out of class to come here to this church to go on her mobile unit for a free ultrasound. And that day, she heard the heartbeat. She saw her little baby for the first time. The mother, the grandmother, they both started crying as they saw their baby alive on that ultrasound that day.
that little one is alive today because of the services that we provide, the free ultrasounds, the health care. Planned Parenthood is the higher priced option, yet they receive over a billion, up close to a billion dollars in our taxpayer dollars each year. Why is this? Their ultrasounds are $75, ours are free. Their well women exam is 180, we do it for 50. We can only provide these services because of your support. It's what brings us out here. Right now, the mobile clinic goes to abortion clinics, goes to health fairs. We work very, we work in partnership with Life Choices Women's Clinic to provide the alternative to Planned Parenthood. We do gynecological services, cancer screenings, anything that they do that's moral, we also do at two of our locations in Phoenix and right on board the Hope Mobile Clinic. Women do have options. People worry if Planned Parenthood were to close, women would not have anywhere to turn, and that is not true. That is absolutely a lie. That day here in Chandler, we had three generations, three generations standing together. This new life, we have no idea the potential, the possibility that they have, the generations that will continue because we happen to be here that day. Because what Planned Parenthood tells them is that that life is not valuable. And we know that's not true. God has a plan for everyone, every child. Every child is precious. Tomorrow, we are having a protest at the Glendale Planned Parenthood in Arizona. It's their, it's Sunday. It's their largest abortion killing day. Um, the protest will be going on from 7 in the morning till 1 o'clock. You guys are welcome to come out and pray. Um, so far this year, we've served close to 5,000 people at our clinics. Over 300 lives have been saved from abortion. We have volunteers that stay late, seven days a week, over 40 hours a week. This, this is tiring work, and we need your help. Thank you for standing here today. I did want to mention one more thing. Earlier this year, we did start providing abortion pill reversals. We have provided four women with the abortion pill protocol to reverse the effects of the pill at our clinic. I know Aid to Women Center is doing it as well down the street here in Tempe. So please support these clinics that provide real medical care, real pro-life health care, because that is what is going to help to end abortion. Thank you.